Four-year delay in his career because of injuries. Tries to become the second man to defend his title past the age of 40. He's already done that once. It's something only George Foreman has similarly accomplished in the heavyweight division. There's a look at Vitali as he prepares for this, the 47th fight of his career against the almost unknown Manuel Char, a Syrian descent fighter originally born in Beirut, Lebanon during the Civil War there. You see Vladimir Klitschko, younger brother of Vitali, watching the hand wrap as it takes place. And now the tail of the tape for Vitali Klitschko against Manuel Char. A 13-year, nine-month age advantage for Char. Four-inch height advantage for Klitschko. Arm length advantage of three inches for the champion. And he weighed in about seven pounds heavier than his now German-based opponent, Manuel Char. Let's go to Moscow for the opening bell in Moscow Olympic Stadium between Klitschko and Char. There is a political component or subtext to this fight because Vitaly Klitschko has been so active in democratic reform movement in his native Ukraine, which used to be a part of the Soviet Union. Uh, Manuel Stewart expressed a kind of anxiety uh, that he was fighting for the first time in Moscow tonight. Stewart saying that as a friend, he has no particular official connection to Vitaly Klitschko. He has the unofficial connection, of course, of training Vitaly's brother, Vladimir. As round one gets underway, Char at first was staying back, trying to get a look at what Klitschko wanted to do, and now Klitschko seems ready and willing, Max Kellerman, to go forward. I think the big question heading into this fight is... Well, Klitschko's body breakdown at the age of 41. He's had shoulder issues in the past, the bad cut against Lennox. And as fighters age, they tend to be injured more easily. Will his body break down before he can break down Char? Klitschko's last title defense against Derek Chisora wound up being perhaps closer and more difficult than he might have anticipated after he tore a shoulder ligament in the third round. It was in his left shoulder, which hampered his jab for the remainder of the fight. But he's using the jab freely and liberally right now as he begins to put the attack on Manuel Char. CompuBox numbers showed us that Char is, by habit, a slow starter. And in terms of his own punch output, he's off to a slow start here. You see how he plays defense. He uh, puts his gloves up high, tucks his elbows, and just tries to block. He's... You could see the difference in amateur background watching these two guys right now. Vitaly, with a deep amateur background, does things without thinking about them, or thinks about them very quickly and then does them. In Char, you can see him thinking and then executing. Char's first in-the-ring combat experience was in Muay Thai kickboxing. At age 16, eventually he gravitated into a boxing gym, had a very brief amateur career, and his first professional fight at age 20, about five months before his 21st birthday. That was seven years ago. It's been a big first round for Vitaly Klitschko, who has been only slightly threatened, though Char landed an uppercut in that exchange. So far, Vitaly trying to keep Char at the end of the jab sees this kind of shell defense that Char is using and is trying to figure out a way to penetrate it without exposing himself to too much risk. Stepping around a little bit, going to the body, trying to figure it out. Char missing, Vitaly Klitschko landing down the stretch of round one. Later to come in this telecast, the main event, Andre Ward and Chad Dawson. I got a lot of stake, and Andre Ward has a lot of stake too. I'm telling you right now, Chad Dawson's up for this fight. I'm gonna put in the work, and I'm gonna show everybody why I think I'm the best 160 pounder in the world. Every fight is a statement fight, and every every single fight I wanna go out there and outdo my last performance. What better than to do it against the light heavyweight champion, making a bold move to come down to 168 pounds to challenge me for my belt. Andre Ward and Chad Dawson face off for Ward's Super Middleweight Championship later tonight in our main event. Ward has the advantages of fighting on his home court, so to speak, and fighting in the weight class he chose years ago as his own. 
Dawson has the advantages of being, by nature, the larger man. And also taller, a southpaw with a very smooth boxing style. As round two begins, there's a nick outside the right eye of Manuel Char and an abrasion on the right eyelid of Manuel Char. Marks of some of the damage Klitschko was able to do in round number one, and he lands a stiff jab there that moves Char back. Larry Merchant, your thoughts so far? Uh, I, I find myself um, a little surprised at how offensive Vitaly Klitschko has been in the early going, and he's probably seen what we all have known about Char, that he does this in the early rounds and hopes to extend the fight and maybe thinks that uh, he can extend Klitschko past his 41st birthday to his retirement. Char's defense makes him a sitting duck for Vitaly on the outside. But I think you're right, Larry. He figures if he can weather the storm early, maybe Vitaly's age is to Char's advantage late. It's possible, going back to what we discussed before, that if Klitschko wins an election next month for parliament in the Ukraine, this could be his last fight. Vitaly Klitschko had a four-year hiatus in his career between 2004 and 2008, product of a series of injuries which continually interrupted his training sessions, particularly as he attempted to set up a fight with Asim Rachman of the United States. But since coming back in 2008, he's won nine straight fights and barely lost a round. It's amazing that at his age, after a four-year layoff, I know the division is weak. The heavyweight division's been weak in the Klitschko era. But here's some names he's dominated. Chris Ariola, Thomas Adamic, Derek Chisora. Those are kind of the best guys around, and they didn't weren't really in those fights. And all of them considerably more accomplished than Manuel Char, who was ridiculed by some as an opponent coming in, and is taking some heavy punishment with 40 seconds to go in round number two. It's past 1 a.m. in Moscow. The Klitschkos are accustomed to fighting before jam-packed stadiums in Germany. If you catch a wide shot here, you may see some empty seats. It does not appear that the Klitschko marketing power was as effective, at least in filling this stadium in Moscow, as has been the case in places like Hamburg and Cologne. If Char is counting on getting up to the late round, and tiring Klitschko out. He's going to have to land some kind of offense in the early rounds. And There's a right hand by Char. And Char goes down at the end of round number two. And it is a knockdown. And you see the count. So here we see the knockdown at the end of the round. Char tried to create some offense, as Larry suggested, and he paid the price, and that's one of the reasons it's difficult to mount an attack against either Klitschko brother. They're long-armed, and they can punch. And that is reportedly the first knockdown Char has suffered in his professional boxing career. I remember him going down against Danny Williams, but I guess that was ruled a slip, but the knockdown looked similar to that. Round three in Moscow. The first two rounds have been thoroughly dominated by Vitaly Klitschko against little-known but unbeaten opponent Manuel Char. Char is of Syrian lineage. Born in Beirut during the Lebanese Civil War in 1984, ultimately went back to live for a period of time in Syria as a child, moved to Russia at age five, and then eventually to Germany. He now fights as a German. 
Char is showing the ability to reach Vitali from time to time. There was an uppercut in the first round, a right hand near the end of the second. Just then he clipped Vitali cleanly. And it appeared to me that the knockdown came on an over-the-top right hand that Char might not have seen because his head was down. And he didn't look hurt to me. You know, Klitschko has an amazing body uh, for a 41-year-old guy who was 6'8". He weighed in for this fight at 248. He's been in the 240s roughly his uh, entire known <laughs> heavyweight career since he became a top fighter. Um, he's taken it seriously, even though he calls it now a, v a vacation from his the political vocation these days. It's amazing that in the Western Hemisphere, where we supposedly have a more professional culture in boxing, fighters keep missing weight and coming in out of shape. And the Eastern European amateur program has produced professionals who show up in shape every time. And isn't this perhaps the most amazing statistics of Vitali's career, guys? 46 professional fights. In the two losses, a retirement due to injury against Chris Bird, a stoppage due to that horrible cut on his left eye against Lennox Lewis. He was leading on the scorecards in, scorecards in both those instances. So never once in his professional career has he reached the end of a prize fight behind on the scorecards. And fighting big guys, you know, who occasionally will land a punch, he's never been down yet. I, I don't, I can't <laughs> think of any heavyweight in the history of boxing at 41, he's fought as many world-class opponents as Vitali, though you can question the quality of the world-class opponents in his era, who's never been down on the cards or knocked down. That's, I think, historically a significant achievement. On the other hand, Char, who seemed to fail to land almost all of his punches in the first two rounds, has actually made a little contact here in round number three. With that jab, for instance. But for now, Char is still taking a lot more than he's giving. Catch the next Real Sports Tuesday, September 18, as we profile the newest owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Magic Johnson. Saturday, September 22, tune into the next installment of my show, The Fight Game, as we take an in depth look at timely topics in the sport we cover. Boxing. Here's Char having some of that offensive success. Left hand lands cleanly. Jab lands cleanly. Char has a sneaky jab. Um, lands more forcefully than some heavyweights. Maybe his most consistent punch. But you've seen so far, given Vitali's height and reach and awkward defense, he's, be he's being clipped from time to time here. Well, we can see that Char's a, a hungry, young, and tough fighter. Whether he has the talent at this level is highly questionable. We're calling this fight from a studio in Oakland. Official scorers are far away in Moscow. Our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman, here with us as always. Harold, how do you have it for three? <laughs> okay, Jim. I got a 30 to 26, three rounds to nothing, Vitaly Klitschko. You know, Jim, I can't get over Vitaly in this fight. I mean, it, we, we mentioned the word defense. He doesn't have any defense at all. The entire three rounds, he's fighting with both hands down. You know, normally he keeps that right hand up so you can't hit him on jaw and knock him out. But in this fight, both hands down all the time. So all you gotta do is really throw a punch at him and you'll probably hit him. But Char just hasn't done enough. Vitaly gets an extra point in round two for the knockdown. Three to nothing, Rich go. The right hand down is the reason that Char is landing those left hands up top from time to time. Isn't it fair to say, Max, that Vitaly's defense is really his command of space? His extraordinary understanding of the distance between him and his opponent and the reflexes that make it possible for him to counter so quickly? Yes, absolutely. Char is negotiating that space better than some have negotiated that space against Vitaly. And I also think, unless there's something physically wrong with Vitaly, and it doesn't appear to be, that he's trying to get Char out of his 
shell defense. Char with a bad cut over the right eye. Well, yeah. we told you at the end of round one, there was a nick outside of Char's right eye and an abrasion on the eyelid. It appears that the abrasion on the eyelid may have opened up, and that's why the blood is flowing. There's a hard right hand by Char as he seems to realize the urgency of his situation. And that may be Char's blood on Vitaly's left eye, but there's redness over Vitaly's left eye as well. I, I do think that the right hand, the position of the right hand, is an attempt to draw Char out. Char claimed in the build-up to the fight that he's never been cut as a professional boxer. Was cut once a long time ago in a kickboxing inter uh, enterprise. But here he has been cut by Vitaly Klitschko. And with 51 seconds to go in the fourth round, the referee is going to take Char to ringside for a doctor to examine him. Referee is Guido Cavalieri of Italy. And we have to assume, presume this is a Russian ring doctor. There it is, the left hand from Vitali cleanly and clearly opening the cut over Char's right eye. It's the younger man ostensibly closer to his prime whose body is falling apart for the 41 year old are they calling the fight it looks as though they're stopping the fight char is very upset but his cornermen are coming into the ring and it appears that it is over it's going to be a technical knockout win for vitali klitschko here in the fourth round as a furious Manuel Char expresses his emotion. I got to say, I understand why he's upset. He was fighting back, and it's early in the fight. It's a very bad position for the cut. Maybe it's a deep cut. But Larry, what do you think about that stoppage? I think that um, it was a bit premature. I think that maybe in Russia, where they've had very little professional prize fighting on this level that they don't maybe get that. I agree. Well, if the names I've been given are correct, the two ring doctors who were listed are actually, it appears to me, German. Uh, that was apparently Dr. Stefan Olthusen who stopped the fight, and he has a German name, not a Russian one. So it's not as if Char could complain that a Russian doctor protected Vitaly. Char's uh, being upset is understandable. He's aimed for this all his life. He decries himself not just as hungry, but penniless. That he has no money, that friends have to support his career, pay his rent, uh, buy his gasoline. This is the moment of his life, and he feels that he's still alive in this fight. Yeah, the, the fight, while he was way behind, had not yet been decided. The outcome was still in doubt. But we can remember another a fight that ended like this. Vitaly Klitschko in Los Angeles, and Lennox between Lewis. Between Vitaly Klitschko and Lennox Lewis, exactly <laughs> right. Although, of course, Vitaly's eye was considerably worse than that, way off the board. But nevertheless, ironically, it was an eyelid cut which produced that stoppage. Let's go to Michael Buffer now for the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Donny Gaspadon. At two minutes and four seconds, round number four, referee Guido Cavallari, at the request of the ringside physician, calls a halt to the bout because of a severe laceration for the right eye. The winner by TKO victory and still WBC. So Vitaly Klitschko has the 45th win and the 41st knockout of his increasingly legendary career in what could conceivably have been his last appearance in the ring.